Dead Stars, prepared by Dominique Flores. The plot centers around one man, Alfredo Salazar, and his love affairs. He is a man who believes in real love and aspires to achieve happiness as a result of it. Esperanza is the first lady he falls in love with. Their families are acquainted, and as a result, they begin a passionate relationship. But it fades quickly when Alfredo meets another lady, Julia, who becomes the target of his affection. After three years of dating, Esperanza and Alfredo have announced their engagement. Alfredo, a lawyer, seeks warmth and sympathy. But Esperanza is a strong-willed, passionate, and principled lady. So when he meets Julia Salas, the judge's sister-in-law and a friend of Alfredo's father, he is instantly drawn to her. Julia is an upbeat and positive person, a lady filled with hopes, goals, and wishes. During his father's stay, he begins to have serious conversations with Julia and is drawn to her charm, humor, and passion. He does not even reveal the truth about his engagement to Esperanza in his enraged mood. To avoid the scrutiny of his fiancée, he begins to conceal secrets from Esperanza as well. He finds out about Julia's return to her homeland one day. Because he is terrified of losing her, he chooses to confess his guilt and his feelings to Julia. He goes to meet her after the church celebration, despite the fact that his fiancée is waiting for him to come to her. When he reaches out to Julia, he discovers she has already discovered his deception. She even wishes him well in his marriage to Esperanza before departing. When he comes home to Esperanza, he suffers a double blow. She is discussing loyalty and devotion with a friend. Alfredo is compelled to talk. He champions desire and choice above a morality. This irritates Esperanza, who states that she knew about him and Julia. She pushes him to commit such abominable adultery and to call off the wedding, all in the name of his heart's desire and passion. Alfredo, on the other hand, yields to reason and rationality, and the wedding goes forward as scheduled. As luck would have it, he gets sent to a job near Julia's hometown. He can't help but feel a pang of nostalgia and old passion for Julia. He finds an excuse and makes his way to her house, where he met her. He is obliged to fantasize about a life with her instead of Esperanza because she is still unmarried. But he soon realizes that something isn't quite right. Julia has changed and has perhaps lost something. Perhaps it's her beauty, humor, charm, or passion, but she's a distinct lady. She is cold and distant, and she no longer shows him the same warmth and compassion. He is devastated and introspective, questioning whether he ever genuinely loved her. Was it all a futile infatuation or mere affair? Was their relationship only a fabrication of his imagination? He is no longer living for any reason. He accepts the harsh fact that whatever there may have been is no longer there.